Moses had some very good advice for us as parents, grandparents, teachers, and pastors. He made the statement in Deuteronomy chapter 4 that we should teach our children the Word of God at all times, all throughout the day, as it were, so that we can imprint on their minds the value of the principles of the Bible. Somehow that is not being done too well today. The comedian Jay Leno quite recently asked his television audience some questions, maybe testing their Bible knowledge a little bit, and he asked them if anybody there could name one of the Ten Commandments. And somebody said, yeah, sure, I can do that. And that person said, one of the Ten Commandments is, God helps those who help themselves. Well, that created a laugh because, in fact, that is not in the Bible even at all. It seems like there is a biblical illiteracy that is very sad and very tragic. The same Jay Leno asked his audience then if any of them could mention one of the four Gospels in the New Testament. Nobody was able to do that. But they were all able to mention the names of the four Beatles, the pop stars. And so the headline has been Matthew, Mark, Luke, Ringo. <laughs> well, it illustrates that we have lost the information, the knowledge of the Bible so much. Recent surveys have shown that in the 1980s, there was a very high percentage of people surveyed who read the Bible occasionally. It was 79%. Today, that number has dropped significantly. It is now 59%. People who read the Bible occasionally. And even more sad is that today, only 16% of committed Christians say that they read the Bible every day. Now, maybe it is because people have lost the skill of understanding what they are reading. But there are so many versions of the Bible today, easy to understand. Study helps that really, if the discipline be taken of just spending 15, 20 minutes reading, contemplating, not large portions, small portions, applying it to the life, thinking about it, and seeking ways in which the Holy Spirit is, is talking directly to the heart, so much value will be gained from that. It's not so much to have a lot of general knowledge about the Bible, though that is valuable, but it is the personal messages from God in the Bible that we do not want to miss out at all. I'm so glad for the text in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8, that says, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. Ever. Now, if we have an interest in living forever, shouldn't we have God's Word that stands forever, be part of our thinking, part of our living? I invite you today to make a decision. Spend time with the Bible. Make it a part of your life. Make it a part of your daily joy. It will soon become something you look forward to, not just something you have to do and see how rich your life will become. If you'd like to know more about the Fletcher Seventh-day Adventist Church, we invite you to go to our website. and There you will find out that we are people who lift Jesus up and love people in. The website is FletcherSDA.org. Thank you for watching.